Alrighty guys, what's going on? Um, uh, Rachel and I today, okay, so I started off, um, we did a wedding last night, so stayed out pretty late. Um, did not drink at all, uh, so I feel good today. Um, but I did run this morning on the treadmill. I've been running again lately, which I know I've talked, I think I've talked about a few times, but I've been running again lately. Uh, more or less, just for fun. It honestly feels good. It makes me like makes me physically feel great. Um, but we're gonna do a leg day. So I ran about an hour ago. Nothing crazy. I think like three and a half miles. Um, just enough to kind of get a sweat baseline sweat. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do a leg workout today. Um, I'm just kind of following what what she does. Um, but we are starting with a a well. First of all, I gotta see if I can get these on. My calves are probably pretty swollen right now. All right, cool. So we're gonna start out with a Smith machine uh, squat. Um, I have the I haven't put knee sleeves on probably in like I don't know six months, at least six months minimum. So we're gonna go ahead and throw on the knee sleeves, and then also throw on the squat shoes potentially. We'll see about the squat shoes. Not 100% sure because we're not doing a barbell squat. We're doing a Smith machine squat. Um, so I don't really, I, honestly, I don't know how heavy we're going to go. I think I might just stay here for reps. It's much harder to lift heavy when you're putting in miles running. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, let's do this thing. <clears throat> Should I face this way or that way? Should I face this way or that way? Back it up, back it in. Oh, it's gonna feel weird. So stiff and so tight. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go up to just 135 on each side here. I think the only issue I have with the Smith machine is the fact that my uh, I can't. I have really bad shoulder mobility, so it's really tough for me to get like full extension uh, with my arms and this Smith machine's not that big. So it's even tougher for me. Uh, but that's a, obviously a me thing. It's my lack of shoulder mobility, which is something I know I have to work on. Um, but we'll see how we feel here with, uh, I guess, I don't know, 190 pounds-ish. It feels a lot better with the weight and the shoes forces me in the hole. Keep the weight on the heels. I just ripped my shorts. That's always cool. So one thing I'm trying to balance um, as I do the running, uh, as I throw in the running to the program, is I want to maximize each one of my lifts, uh, but I specifically want to maximize my um, leg days. Just because I know once I start putting the miles in, I'm going to reduce my leg strength, uh, my leg size for sure. Um, so I've been really trying to run in zone two, zone three to kind of reduce um, the, the, the decrease of leg strength. 
So in combination with that, being aware of my heart rate as I run, I'm also trying to be aware of when I place my leg days, whether it's one to three days a week. I've always been lucky to have really strong legs, but I gotta make sure that when I do a leg workout, it's I try not to back it up and to run because I'll just be toasted in a situation like that. So we don't wanna do that. So we're trying to space out the leg workouts in the running. Um, so today was about an hour and a half between the time I stopped running to the time I did my first squat, which obviously isn't that much time, uh, but I was able to get in like a pack of raspberries, banana, and uh, some blueberries, like two handfuls of blueberries. So that did help a little bit. Also took free workout. Um, so I think overall feeling good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on two plates here while Rachel's in the bathroom and just do uh, one other set here. So let's go ahead and get into that. <coughs> see how this feels so about 180 here nothing crazy pretty light it's so wobbly actually that felt really good that felt really good get uh, two more here. I'm really trying to focus on keeping my knees not caving in as I do this. Um, doing the best we can with that. Smoke one more out. There we go. I gotta drop this because she's a little bit shorter than I on that one. <coughs> <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> All right, so we did six last time. We're gonna go ahead and probably try between, uh, I don't know, four to eight here uh, with this weight. Go ahead and adjust this real quick. Yeah, so probably between four to eight here. Um, yeah, let's see what we got. Probably four to six, actually. We're gonna do one back offset here. Um, we're just throwing a 45 on each side. And then just do, like I said, just one back offset. Uh, I felt my Achilles kind of popping when I was doing the uh, 275 or whatever, the, whatever that was. Um, like I said, when you start running, when you start adding cart, like long, not even long distance, but if you just run, right, your legs are gonna get fatigued a lot quicker. Um, and also when you're a bitch like I am too, you get a little bit more tired. I'm gonna walk out on this one since it's a little bit lighter. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I don't fall. Mm. 
10 here. You guys are wild. You're, you're females, man. I'm telling you, man, females just, they got different things going on. I know, if that was my buddy, if that was my friend, I'm also recording too, so. If that was Charles, I'd be like, dude, stop being a bitch, shut up. You're, oh shit. So we're doing leg extension here outside, which is nice because there's nobody here. It's also nice because there's no background noise. The only downside with this leg extension machine is you can't really put too much weight on it. I think this is 135, but I think the way that the levers are designed on this machine is it's not a legit 135 at all. It actually feels more like 100, maybe, max. <coughs> but it's all good. I feel like the fancier machines get the worse they get too. I'm a big fan of like old school machines where there's like one lever, but it's all good. <clears throat> so we're gonna do this, curls, and then some type of glute hamstring RDL, some type. Um, I'm gonna do probably two more sets, or probably three working sets, you said as a warm up, three working sets with uh, 180 for, I don't know, just how many reps I wanna go with. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and do 180 here <clears throat> for just a bunch of reps. Only time I ever count reps um, is if I'm trying to train for like a specific weight for like a powerlifting movement, like a deadlift, squat, or bench, but I haven't done a powerlifting program probably three or four years. So it's been a while. Otherwise, I just kind of work out off a of feel. If, I, if something feels good, I do it. If it doesn't feel good, I'll do one set and move on. Um, just kind of always been that way. I don't follow any program. All right, here we go. Sometimes when I'm when I'm working out, since I don't really count my reps or anything, um, I feel like that kind of gives me the freedom to focus on like negatives or just kind of change up each rep as I go. I'll stay here. I'm gonna keep my legs flexed, keep the blood in my legs, and then I'm probably just gonna go for about six, eight more reps here. And then consider that like a drop set. good if I do one more set there and then the lying hammies all right so I'm gonna do a quadruple drop set here just put on as many plates as I can fit actually you know what let's go five plates we're gonna go five four three and then use that as my last set for quad extensions here
and then I'm gonna do lying hammies. And then I'm gonna actually end the video there. I don't feel like filming anymore. So we're gonna do <coughs> squat, leg extensions, lying hammy, 91 So it says 225. Don't get it twisted. You're not that strong. It's not 225. It's probably like 150 to 180. Here, just based off the leverages. Not always, I just broke the machine, but I just broke the machine. It's not always true, but you can, it's a general rule of thumb that the more leverage points a machine has, the, the less realistic the weight is. Um, that's why I'm a big fan of old school machines. Not all machines are created equal, as they would say. So let's go ahead and just see what this is. See, this feels just like the last weight. <laughs> Seven, eight, ten. All right, we're just gonna strip it all the way down to one plate here. So that was 10. We'll just do 10. We'll do 10, 20, 30, 40. We'll do a 50 rep set here. So it's 10. We'll do 10 over here. This pad is so beat up that it fucking hurts on my shin. <laughs> All right, so we'll do another 10 reps here. set here. Now one more drop set for 10. We're gonna do 10 on, we're gonna do 10 single leg here though. Start with the left, move on to the right. Whew, okay, that's, that actually feels better. Oh yeah, that's hard. That's good. Ten. My left leg is so much weaker than my right leg. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. All right, let's do uh, lying hamstring curls and call it a day for the gold gym edition leg workout. All right, we're gonna do this little lying, actually, to be honest, lying leg hamstring machines are my favorite, but they require the most energy output to get into the position. And my theory is you're already working out, so the machine itself shouldn't be an exercise in of itself to utilize. Also, this one's gonna wreck my uh, knees, I can already tell. One thing I also do when I work out is I never adjust the seats or anything. I just kind of sit down in them. And I notice a lot of times with my clients, like that's one of the first things they try to remember is like, what should the position of my seat be? And I, I guess I've just never thought, I've just kind of done the thing. So we'll see how this feels. I can already tell it's gonna bother my knees. Uh, just a few rule of thumbs whenever you do stuff like this, right? I always like to keep my big toes nice and flexed. Keep that quad fully extended. Sometimes you get people get, they got like retard feet. Like one foot would be in the air, one foot would be out to the right. Like you don't wanna do that. And keep your toes straight and just drive your heel to your butt. And then always slow down the negative. A lot of times people do not do that with hamstrings. You wanna slow down the negative. Actually this machine feels pretty good. My little knee pads are. <laughs> Affecting my range of motion though. Okay, that's good. Alrighty, 
right, fellas. We're going to go ahead and finish up this workout here, at least for the recording side. Um, I'm probably going to do some type of RDO thing. Uh, I got my sleeping bag shoes on. Finish with the workout in these things. This is a so far a 49 minute workout. Typically my workouts are between 15 to 20 minutes. Always. Uh, so well sometimes it, lately they've been going about 30. So this is a lot longer of a workout than I normally do. Ugh. Uh, she had a 45 and 25 on. I had a 45 and a 45 on. So I'm going to put a 45 on top of the 25 and the 45. Only makes it a net 20 pounds heavier. Oh, let's do it. Let's just kind of go for as many reps as we can humanly do here, I guess. Could be boring. This looks like snakeskin. Okay. That's it. We're done. We're done. We're going to do an RDL variation and then call that a day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next week.